Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another amazing live stream aka video if you guys are watching this on YouTube and uh, I tried uh, to mainly avoid YouTube and Twitch the main reason being uh, I have been busy with my job but I am making this video because it's really important and uh, a lot of these kind of scams similar scams have been happening uh, in the present day and um, each and every one of us needs to be careful in every way we need to have some certain knowledge on how to how how does emails work how how basically clicking on a link could uh, install a backdoor for a hacker and stuff like those and uh, if you guys have this knowledge then you guys will never ever respond or never ever click on certain links now what am I talking about what specific scam am I talking about at the moment I am talking about a scam which I call as seeds scam now what why do I call this a seeds scam now you guys uh, as the video progresses as the stream progresses you guys will know why i call this a seeds scam because mainly some or the other sort of medicinal seeds are involved in the scam uh, <clears throat> yeah i am indeed on uh, yeah so some so uh, some or the other uh, kind of medicinal seeds are involved and how are they involved and how it all started let me go to the beginning and uh, tell you guys how it all started it all started with this specific email right here it all started with this email i received this email from bwi companies and when i googled bwi companies this website pops up bwi companies incorporated bwi companies incorporated exactly the same website that i was looking for uh, as you can see this uh, uh, the name is BWI companies and it says BWI companies incorporated now I I personally have never been associated with BWI companies nor have I uh, met someone who has been uh, a part of BWI companies so it, it would really not make any sense if uh, someone uh, from a specific company sends you uh, an email regarding a proposal it's uh, the email says clearly says I have a proposal for you reply back to me and uh, he wants me to the scammer wants me to reply back using this email address now there are so many things to discuss with this email itself now obviously it's fake someone from an entirely different continent BWI companies is located in the United States uh, all of its branches are located in the United States none of its branch none of its branches are, uh, is located in India and all of its uh, associated uh, vendors yeah it mentioned vendors all of the vendors are from uh, other countries as well none of it I have never heard uh, about at least one of these companies maybe PNG I've heard of it but uh, that doesn't matter so I've never heard of BWI companies uh, summing up and uh, the email address is peculiarly um, suspicious because be, uh, if if uh, it had uh, so many branches in USA basically it would it must have a, a domain of its own and maybe the BWI companies if it wants to send an email to others it must have something like uh, at the rate BWI.com or at the rate BWI company dot com and it uh, generally generally in uh, in a really good company for example I work at Cognizant and uh, my official email address that uh, I use for my official purposes which are related to my company is something my ID at the rate Cognizant.com so that is my official email address in a similar way they must have so at the rate Cognizant.com is a domain name at the uh, Cognizant is a domain name it's also the name of the company but it's called domain name so uh, the if, if a company like BWI companies is involved in sending emails to others it should have uh, used uh, an email with uh, the actual BWI companies domain name now keeping that aside I 
want to make myself clear that BWI companies is not involved in this in any way. The scammers are basically using BWI companies name, just name, BWI, the scammers are using BWI companies name to scam people. And how are they scamming people? And why did I call this uh, a seeds scam? Uh, he said, I have a proposal for you, reply back to me. And any normal person, just like uh, you guys, would not reply to the email. But uh, I wanted to have some fun. And that is the only reason why that I replied to this email. Under normal circumstances, under any circumstances, you guys must not reply to these emails, to these kind of emails. Now, obviously, you don't know the sender obviously uh someone you don't know uh, how can he offer a proposal how can he offer you something so it's obviously fake it's obviously a scam so don't reply or respond to these kind of emails but i replied to this email just to make a video just to make an educational video on how emails work how stuff work now before i show you guys what i replied i'm going to show you guys uh, a quick tool kind of which uh, you can use when you don't really trust the sender of an email now i obviously don't know uh, from which uh, content in this email came from bwi companies is from america if uh, the email address points to me points uh, me to an ip address which is not from america then obviously it's a, a scam and even if it's from america then maybe the scammer is using an ip address to create a google account and then he is sending an email from that specific system, from that specific PC. So, uh, irrespective of uh, whether the location is confirmed as North America or some other country, I just am interested to show you guys about this tool which you can use to know about uh, the IP addresses of the sender of an email. A closing BWI company website again BWI companies is um, in no way involved in the scam they the scammers are just using BWI companies and uh, as the stream progresses as the video progresses you guys will know how uh, how clever in, how in a clever and intelligent way they are using BWI companies name to scam people Hey, Kane Williamson, what's up, man? <laughs> Kane Williamson is someone uh, on my stream and he's my cousin as well. Yeah, Kane. So, a, a particular scam has been running around and that is uh, why I am talking about it. So, uh, in case you joined right now, this is the specific scam email that I had received a few days ago. Uh, when did I receive it? 22nd? Today is 25th? Yeah. Three days ago, I received this email from this peculiar company, BWI Companies. And it says, uh, I have a proposal for you. Reply back to me. And he gave his email address. Now, uh, BW, I've never been associated with BWI Companies. So, I'm not going to reply. I'm uh, A normal person would just uh, block. Uh, yeah, a normal person would just block and report a spam. And stuff like those. So I'm just explaining how um, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to explain how a specific tool can be used to know the sender's IP address and the sender's location from the IP address, of course, from the email. Now, what I am here doing is going to more, going to show original. And this is the actual email. This is the actual message that you receive as an email. Why don't you see this? Because uh, email services, yeah, it would be helpful for me. Yeah, that is the reason why that I'm uh, streaming this and making a YouTube video out of it. So, uh, uh, when I click on more and click on original message, this pops up. Then, uh, if this is the original message, then why does it not show up? And it, if this is the original message, why do we just... Uh, compose an email and type in blah 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 and uh, we don't type any of that uh, any of this information like this uh, all of this looks gibberish all of this looks gibberish for us but but for systems and for uh, email services like gmail and outlook this is not gibberish this is some useful information and this is the information that we are going to use to get the uh, to get the receiver's IP address, sorry, to get the sender's IP address. 
uh, the, the person who sent this to me. Now, if you guys uh, don't want to read this, it's it's fine. Uh, most of it is gibberish. But in some cases, you guys may see this received thing. You guys may see this, uh, see this received field. And uh, this is basically the IP address of the sender. This is basically the IP address of, even though it says received, this is basically the IP address of the sender. And uh, how can you know the location? In in just a few moments, I'm, I'm going to show you the location of the sender. But uh, before that, uh, if, if this looks a little confusing, you could just copy this, copy everything, including the dashes, including the dashes, including the dashes at the end. Copy everything and open. Uh, uh, maybe you could search email, email directory. No. You could search email and uh, let me show this on Chrome. It would be more convenient for me. I yeah, email address origin. Yeah. Now I just am opening up email. Uh, I just searched on Google for email address origin and uh, certain um, yes. Results popped up. Uh, Origin is the name of the EA Games launcher, so I'm not gonna open that. This is the website that I am uh, personally interested in. It's extremely gibberish. Yeah, this is the website that I'm particularly interested in, and of course Google one as well. Now, in 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 most cases, you can see the received, and you can see the IP address of the sender of this email, even though it says uh, uh, received. The reason it says received is uh, a, a little too complex, a little too technical, so I'm not going to get into the details. But uh, in most cases, you can uh, see the IP address clearly, but uh, in some cases, you may not see the received thing. So I'm just going to copy this entire message, entire email, and going to paste it. Now, I, I opened up two websites. I searched for email address origin. Then I opened up what is my IP address.com, which is my one of my personal favorites. And I opened up Google one as well. Now, here are the same steps, which says uh, open the Gmail, open the email that you want to check the headers for. Click on reply. Uh, next to reply, click on more, the three dots icon and sh uh, click on show original. Copy the entire text on the message and paste it on this tool. Now we're going to do just that. Analyze the header above. Now what this tool basically does is uh, we, uh, it's gibberish for us. It's definitely not gibberish for the system. So it analyzes the code and gives you the same IP address that we saw under the received tab. Now I got the IP address either from directly from the email header or from these, these kind of tools. And what to do with the email address? How to know the location of the sender from the email address? Now that is where the what is my IP address dot com is uh, extremely useful. I pasted the sorry, I pasted the entire message header into this email analyzer. Email analyzer by what is my IP address dot com. Any email analyzer is simply runs on a uh, on a simple code. So uh, it, sh it should be fine. Uh, yeah. So what this specific email uh, analyzer is doing is uh, it's not really interested in my delivered to address, which is really a good thing. So it it's not interested in my delivered to. It's uh, again, even though this is the sender, it is labeled as received because the way email works. Okay. Another another really interesting topic here. The way internet works is in form in the form of packets. Anything you, for example, you, you, you search on Google for my name, you search Shantan on Google. The this piece of information Shantan is uh, sent as an information as a packet from your system to Google's system. That is how the results uh, actually come to your system as well. That is how the results reach you as well. The search results come in the exact same way, but in the opposite order. The search results come as packets. The search results, you receive the search results as packets from Google's systems to your system. And what does this packet contain? Of course, the information, 
which is uh, if you search for my name it's shantan the information and it also contains the from and to ip addresses now think about it thank you thank you for the raid alpha <laughs> thank you so much for the raid i was uh, i'm i'm going to talk uh, more after the raid music thank you so so much for the uh, for the raid alpha i've been discussing something really important so uh, yeah so the way an internet packet works is uh, just like a letter now in nowadays no one really uses a letter we all use whatsapp or text message or something i mean text message is considered boomer these days we only use whatsapp and uh, facebook messenger thank you so much for the host douglas really appreciate it ah it's been so long since i've uh, streamed and i missed you guys yeah so the way an internet packet works is it has the senders and receivers ip address and of course the information in it and it's uh, uh, kind of similar to uh, to uh, the way letters worked now for example let me just um say that uh, um, i mean uh, the uh, the way the letter works is it has a from address it has a to address and the postman knows that uh, he needs to deliver this letter to that specific address from the to address that you had written on the envelope or uh, in the letter uh, now if for example you did not write the from address you just wrote the to address so it just reaches the destination but you did not write the from address now google which is the recipient of your letter it wouldn't know where to send the search results to so basically in either way the from and to addresses are equally important and in another case if we consider you just uh, wrote the from address and you did not write the to address you did not write the recipient's address then the packet doesn't know where to go the your the uh, basically your internet protocol doesn't know where to send the packet to <laughs> information information so uh, that is how uh, uh, internet works in a similar way when you search for something the internet packet has your ip address google's ip address and the information and it goes from your system your pc or your phone to google's system or google's pc and the results are uh, traversed in the same way but in the opposite direction that is the reason why also email is an uh, email is also tra 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 email also is uh, also travels through internet so it is basically travels through uh, in, in forms of packets so that is the reason why each internet packet has the from and to ip addresses and using that logic we are able to see the ip address of the sender now this is the ip address of the sender yeah, uh, we, we completely changed the topic the topic was uh, why is it uh, labeled as received there are certain protocols uh, if, uh, the protocol everyone hears of is uh, ip that is internet protocol that is the basic protocol but when it comes to email a specific protocol called transfer control protocol is used in transfer control protocol specifically in email think about it you really want to know whether the recipient received the email address or not so you really are interested whether the recipient received an email address sorry when the, whether the recipient received your email your piece of information and that is the reason why uh, signal is sent um, you could see that as a notification uh, by gmail application saying your message was sent so this message uh, is sent from your system from your system to the sender system and that is the reason why the senders even though he sent you the message it is received uh, it is labeled as received because he received the message uh, he received the confirmation basically uh and uh, the reason why what is my ip address.com is my favorite website is uh, it gives you the ip address obviously after analyzing the message header but when you click on it 
it directly gives you the location of the sender now this location is based uh, the sender is based in north america so he is uh, either really from north america or he is someone using a vpn and uh, using a vpn and using a specific server created a, um, a gmail account and he is sending me emails from that specific uh, system or from that specific pc either way i'm not really concerned i don't care his uh, about his location i just uh, wanted to let you guys know if you guys are uh, um, in a tricky situation whether to trust an email or not how to know the sending location the sender's location of the email so to douglas and alpha who uh, joined a little late stretch i am stretching thank you so much for reading that so yeah so uh, <clears throat> to douglas and alpha uh, i received um basically trying to debunk a company um, and basically trying to reveal their personal details so that they stop scamming people now uh, i received this email uh, and uh, i am i was trying to track the source of the email and uh, that is exactly what i was talking about before now going back it says i have a proposal for you reply back to me i have a proposal not a proposal i have proposal for you reply back to me and he gave his uh, email address to which normal people would did not uh, would uh, not reply back to but i'm not a normal person i'm not a sane person so in any case i would uh, i i would really want to convey something i would really want to um no what is the exact word that i'm looking for i really want to let you guys know that it's really dangerous in all cases in every case it's really dangerous to reply back to an email address you don't trust or you don't know of or you uh, haven't spoke to in your entire life or which points to uh, an entirely different location in the world so it's really dangerous anything could happen anything like uh, installation of uh, viruses and backdoors which uh, which we're going to discuss about later in this stream and in this video so i replied back and uh, this is my reply am i missing something i think i'm missing something i think yeah i'm missing something which says yeah i missed this thing so another reason why what is my ip address.com is my favorite uh, thing uh, to track an email or track any any internet packet is uh, it also gives you the user comments about a specific ip address now this ip address seems to be a public ip address and what that basically means is uh, a single person is running this server with this ip address and he has been giving emails which associate with this ip address to only scammers and this way we can know about user comments i'm going to uh, just read a couple of user comments here wow that though i wasn't scammed but i felt suspicious and i decided to track her happy for me i found out that it was a scammer chatting with me due to several comments i've uh, seen here we must get these people the this ip can be anyone like me you an individual from mali or france i checked two different headers coming from two different countries and it shows the same ip nigeria scam letters but uh, used a swedish lady's passport <laughs> okay okay I have three emails from three different people with all these ip addresses all three are trying to scam uh, me out of money one claims to be a famous country singer one a chemical engineer working for an oil platform and one a hospital in africa ah oh, man i'm pretty sure uh, the, uh, the one trying to scam me is not from africa he is from india and why am i so confident as uh, um, is from uh, why am i so confident that he is from india because there is no way as as uh, we progress more and more in the stream and as, as we talk more and more you guys will know that he even tried to message me on my phone he got a hold he got my phone number from from some source and most probably it's not the same person who messaged me on my email address and my phone but uh, that doesn't really matter so if he got a hold of my phone number which is an indian number uh, no if you wanted to message me on my phone number from another country outside india it would not be possible so 
yeah more about that later in the video so that so using what is my address.com you could even see customer actual customer reviews uh, sorry to confuse you guys but basically i'm trying to expose a scam and uh, I'm, I'm just educating you guys so that you guys can stay safe whoever is uh, watching right now whoever is watching this on twitch or on youtube so using what is my ip address.com you guys could uh, even see actual customer actual uh, people who have reviewed this specific ip address so this specific ip address is not a new one it has been uh, used since a really long time and uh, it seems that these people have not stopped since then scamming me yeah it's quite good so what did i reply back to this specific uh, message and now it said uh, i have a proposal for you reply back to me he gave me this email address what did i reply is that are, the, are those claps is it part of the music i don't know i don't i don't know oh nice <laughs> i did not know that existed nice nice thank you so much for testing that out thank you for the applause um what specific email am i looking yeah so this scammer called himself george williams now these scammers go to such an extent that they even create a fake linkedin account with real followers let me tell you these guys go to such extents just to scam money out of people these guys are basically unemployed people who haven't been employed because they are not fit to be employed they cannot be employed by anyone because they don't have the necessary skill sets to at least work in a um, work in a mcdonald's i don't know so they don't really have the necessary skill sets to at least work in uh, mcdonald's so what they do is basically uh, go to a public server get emails like this get create fake accounts and scam people this is the reply that i gave to uh, that i uh, this is what i replied back to him hey i don't think we have met before tell me all about the proposal regards shantan now basically the thing that i was trying to do here i obviously knew this this was scam because i did all this research before before i replied back to him i did all this research and i knew it was a scam the reason that i replied back to him even though it's dangerous i needed his personal information to expose thank you so much i needed his personal information to expose him all over the internet so that he at least stops spamming I mean, stops scamming. <laughs> Not, uh, yeah, definitely stop spamming and stop scamming as well. So, uh, hey, I don't think we've met before. Uh, tell me all about the propo proposal regards Shantan. Now, George Williams is the name that he is. He has been using. Dear friend, dear friend. Even though I mention my name here, it clearly my email address. This is my personal email address. It clearly had my name here. He, he still mentioned it dear friend and that basically means that he has been sending the same message just copy and paste to multiple email addresses who have replied in the same way that i did now uh i really really hope at this point no one is scammed i i really hope this this guy rots in hell and uh, uh, i don't know what to say at the same time at the same time i know this guy is someone who uh, is really who really needs money and that is the reason why he is doing but uh, he doesn't realize at this point that he is doing something wrong because he needs money so much and he thinks whatever be the uh, way that i progress through whatever be the way that i earn my money it's it, it's good money no it's bad money even though he scams a lot of people and he earns some money and he even gets out of legal trouble it's bad money and he's he's going to uh his money is going to uh, eventually kill him now he's reply dear friend how are you doing thanks for your response to my email my name is dr george dr george williams 
I am a veterinary doctor and also work with Meds for Vets Compounding Pharmacy Incorporated in USA. I searched this up, Meds for Vets Compounding Pharmacy. I found nothing. Um, I mean, the, uh, um, I found that this existed, but I found uh, no results as uh, in the case of BWI companies. I'm urgently looking for a sincere and serious person in India or any part of Asia and Middle East whom I will share the secret with. Actually, I have been working as a procurement manager in my company above and I have been coming to India in the past for a partic particular product called uh, Ampholunio Raw Seed for producing cancer vaccines and also used for producing vaccines for animal vaccination treatment, which my company said can only be found in India through the help of one local dealer because our company have been purchasing from this dealer in the past through me and this dealer have the right product which my company use. Such a long message without even a comma and a pause. So, such absurd, right? Such absurd. If just if you stop for one second and think about this, if someone who is in a critical situation, I can totally understand how people get scammed. If I am in a critical situation, if I was in a critical situation and I need uh, a lot of money really fast then I could fall for this scam and I even I could send him my personal details which he asked further in this email. But irrespective of your situation, the only thing that I want you guys to do is think critically. Think before you do something on the internet. And uh, before, some, some, before sending your personal information, your personal information is private information. Your ID card issued by your government or ID card issued by even your company as well. It's private Keep it that way. Do not send it to anyone uh, Over the internet let alone uh, to send in, uh, to anyone's Gmail account now a lot of uh, really <laughs> absurd things in this first uh, paragraph here he says he is a doctor working with so and so, uh, and he is looking for a company, uh, looking for a sincere and serious person. Really, isn't it ridiculous that you are scamming people and you are looking for a serious and sincere person in India or in Asia and Middle East? Uh, he has been working as a blah 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 and uh, yada yada yada. So he says that these specific seeds, Ampel Unio raw seed which are used for producing cancer vaccines. Which, imagine, imagine this. Specific type of seeds produced only in India and there's only one manufacturer for those seeds. And these seeds are used for cancer vaccines. If any of these was true, if any of these was true, I promise you guys, India would have been the richest country in the world because really you think cancer vaccines the seeds used for cancer vaccines first of all how could some random seed be used for cancer vaccines and I'm not really that uh, of a medical person and imagine the seeds used for cancer vaccines are only produced in India and India is still a developing country and not the richest country in the world imagine that this is obviously false guys and he created a movie story exactly exactly he created a movie story so when i search up another proof that it is a scam when i search up amphal union raw seed sorry wrong button ah now i realized that this is bing and bing is basically garbage Close it really. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm the only one using Bing. When I search this up on Google, I'm gonna sh close this one as well. Hmm. When I search this up on Google, Amphal Unio Raw Seed. The only results, search results that pop up are. Bengaluru, which is a place in India, Bengaluru investors lose 5 crores in online medicinal seed fraud. 
this is how this is why uh, everyone loves google <laughs> really specific result that i was looking for really specific result which lead to uh, the fact that this is a scam chia seeds popular options to consider buying uh, uh, not really interested in other seeds so this is the first search result that popped up by economic times bengaluru investors lose uh, 5 crores in uh, this year uh, this year in online medicinal seed fraud and what what do they basically do i did read this entire thing but uh, someone someone invested in the seeds and they said that uh, basically how these uh, seeds scams work now they say as they have said in in my case they say that this these specific type of seeds are available only in india so you need to get a hold on the seeds and we will buy from you you will be our primary buyer we will buy the seeds from you for double the price who in the right mind which sane person in the world would do it which sane person would buy specific seeds that he needs for uh, that he, he needs for his company double the price when he could just buy them from the original buyer for half the price this is critical thinking and you guys need to think in that way uh, before responding and replying to these kind of emails now closing this i'm i'm going to read further i contacted you because my company have promoted my position and another person is now replacing me as a procurement manager and me and the new procurement manager will be coming to india nice you'll be coming to india while the lockdown is on good man at least you need, at least at least read before you type in type a message i don't know i i use it uh i use it i used i think he means i used to i used to purchase it at a rate of 950 dollars and sell supply to my company at a rate of 5780 dollars again critical thinking here no one would believe it his company is basically using uh, losing 5780 minus 950 uh, which is basically around 4600 his company is losing 4600 dollars because uh, they think that the seeds actually cost 4000 uh, 5780 dollars really do you think the company is the people who run the company the people who buy that seed are that dumb or is he trying to get your attention using big figures like 5000 dollars and 10000 dollars so that you would be more interested in his business the second option guys N- this company doesn't exist he george williams doesn't exist but he is tricking you to send you uh, send him his personal uh, your personal details by using amounts like these so no one in the right mind would uh, <laughs> this would be the best business in the entire world if i'm not wrong uh, if someone is doing this business this this kind of business he would uh, simply become elon musk uh, the richest man in the world in no time so <laughs> locked on <laughs> yeah yeah locked on right so uh, no what i need uh, is uh, to link you to my company here directly for your benefit and profit what i need from you is for you to stand as the person i am buying this product from there in india because my company has changed me as the procurement manager asking me to give them the address and contact of their direct dealer in india and i do not want to give the details of the dealer to my company so i want to arrange with you first so that once we come to india the new purchasing manager will know that you are the main dealer i do purchase this product from you let us consider the case that this company actually existed and someone actually emailed you regarding the same exact scenario regarding the same situation and regarding the same thing he is not an indian citizen let me uh, think of it legally and critically he is not an indian citizen if this turns out to be a the scam and you being the indian representative the only person the first and the only person the indian government the indian police would arrest is you 
if this company actually existed i, I mean we all know that this company doesn't exist um, these, are, these are just scammers trying to scam people if this company actually existed and if if someone is trying to give you a job which actually means you acting as someone else then you are doing something wrong maybe you should quit your job as soon as possible maybe if you are uh really uh if you really are brave enough if you are not uh, lazy you must even report your company or you must even report uh the one you who hired you to do such kind of things it's basically cheating right you are trying to be someone you are not that's basically cheating you would be arrested and get into a lot of legal trouble uh reading further my problem now is i don't want to okay okay um my problem now is i don't want to de- uh, them to know the exact amount i'm buying this product in india as i mentioned earlier i buy at the rate of $950 from the main dealer and give to my company at the rate of $5780. What I need is a sincere person that can handle this transaction for me and after the business the profit will be shared between us a 50% for myself and 50% for you really. You are basically doing nothing. You are just pretending to be someone else and you just get $2000. Wow, what an amazing what an amazing job, right guys? you will only stand as the person i am buying it from there in your country so that once the new purchasing manager comes come to india he will see that i am truthful and report to my company that is true that it is true you are the right and sincere dealer i have been buying from if you can be sincere with me i will uh, give you more details on what to do also i want to inform you that my company do need this seed in high demand about 500 packets a week imagine he he is saying that he says uh, ni- he he buys the seed at uh, $950 per packet and sells them to his company at 5000 change 5850 5780 and he's basically uh, using big numbers to try and scam you so this is good business that will be good for me and and you because my company will be buying 500 packets of it every week So just let me know your interest and I will let you know what to do and I will also need you to be sincere and listen properly properly to what I tell you These words such as sincere and listen properly to what I tell you are the exact words used by scammers Why why do I say it why do I say that the words like sincere and uh, listen properly to what i do are words used by scammers they are you they are using th- those kind of words to actually trick you now when someone uses words like sincere but you need to be sincere and you need to be, listen properly to what they tell you they are trying to they are trying to gain your belief when 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 i i speak to you guys when i speak import from india is temporarily stopped by us due to covid and he wants to 500 pack <laughs> exactly so uh, uh what i was trying to say is uh, when when i use words like ken williamson you need to be sincere with your work and you need to do exactly what i tell you to do you need to listen properly to my instructions you need to do as i say when you, when i use words like these i'm just the other person basically trusts me thinking that uh, this person is a serious person he thinks that i am a serious person and i am not a scammer when you use words like these you think the other person is not a scammer and that is the reason why they are using these words like sincere and listen properly to what i do now he mentioned certain rules you must be honest and uh, you, you you will never contact my company without my knowledge after our first supply because uh, after our first supply i will use my position in the company to fight on your behalf to make sure my company give you the long term supply contract really you should not allow my company procurement manager to have local dealer contact for our future transaction profit will be permanently shared as we agreed in each transaction i will be taken 50% from the excess gain of profit and 50% uh, will be for you you will not need to own any medical store or need export or license for the transaction company procurement manager and myself will come to india to take delivery and payment really during lockdown are you serious so don't worry about the exportation of goods or products my company has have every document it takes to ship their videos uh, 
to their goods to USA. His English is obviously false. His uh, he has a, a, English is obviously the English of someone who is sitting behind a computer trying to scam people. He's definitely not someone who is educated, not someone who is uh, doing a really um, good job, and he's definitely not someone from the United States. You <clears throat> do not need to be a business person to do this business, as it is very easy. If only you listen and follow my follow instruction and directive i will give to you i will attach you the contact details of the dealer of the product if you are ready for this business you have to keep secret in this business for our own good because i share the secret share share basically means shredding in some cases Shear, yeah Shear basically means cut the wool off or break off for something <laughs> and you have to keep secret in this business for our own good because I share this secret with you confidentially. C capital. C uppercase. The procurement manager will be coming to India with cash for 500 packets every week. And this money will be given to you so that you can arrange with the main dealer for the purchase of 500 packets. I will explain to you on how the manager will give you the money for the product once I get your interest in the business. If you are interested, let me know and before we proceed i i will need your details do reply and send me the below details your full name your address your contact phone number your present occupation or job your age any copy of your identification proof i need this information very importantly for trust between us once i receive this information from you then i will present it to my company for immediate approval of 500 packets of amphal unio raw seed and after then I will send you the contact details of the local dealer in India for you to confirm the availability of 500 packets of Amphal Union raw seats before me and the procurement manager will then come to India with cash for the Amphal Union. He mentioned Amphal Union raw seats too many times. I await your urgent response. Looking forward uh, towards a long lasting business relationship with you. Sincerely, Dr. George Williams. I looked up Dr. George Williams uh, all over the internet. But I did not find any results. I mean, I did not find any results corresponding to the veterinary and the person who works at Meds for Vets Compounding Pharmacy, etc. in USA. I found many George uh, Williams uh, who are doctors, but definitely, uh, obviously, they are not the culprits. Now, uh, so basically, there, uh, th this uh, person's real name is not, this scammer's real name is not George Williams and he is using this name to scam people. And he is using, let me tell you something. They are going to such an extent as to search for the specific seeds. Now, Amphal Unio raw seeds, when I search for it, I'm getting some search results. Uh, maybe it's a scientific name. I have no idea what uh, those are, but Amphal Union. When I search for Amphal Union raw seeds, search results are popping up uh, other than the scam search results, of course. And uh, they are going to such an extent as to searching for the specific seeds and searching for a specific company using specific company for their name for doing their business using fake names just to scam people out of their money so all i say is be careful and uh, you guys i responded to this email as well from the uh, first email itself i knew that this was a scam and basically for the conversations from now on will be just him trying to get personal details from myself and me trying to get his personal details so, hey, Dr. Uh, Williams, your job involves a lot of work managing people that I don't, uh, your job involves a lot of, uh, your job involves a lot of work managing people that I don't think will be able to do. Uh, but before I can accept or deny your offer, I need some information on stuff like how you got hold of my email address, where is the actual seller located in India, and how am I supposed to pretend like I am the seller? Wouldn't I be in legal trouble? No offense, doctor, but I'm just being reasonable here. When you get an email from a person whom uh, you have, uh, haven't have spoke, haven't met or uh, spoken to at all, and this person is from an entirely different part of the world, you think about a lot many things and, you work, and your work involves me pretending to be the seller of the seat. Please do reply with the information asked in this email and let me have some time to think about it. 
Also, if possible, drop in things like your Facebook page or something relating to the hospital. And I'm going to send you my details proving that I'm a real and genuine person. Sorry if I hurt you or if I was being just too harsh about you or your company. So many things happen around us each day and just being careful in every perspective. Regards, Shantar. Just like he was using words like uh, sincere and uh, you, you need to follow my instructions and you, you will be safe. When uh, he, he was using this kind of words to scam people and I used this specific sentence to scam him. I used words like sorry if I hurt you or uh, if I was being just too harsh about you or your company. So many things happen around us each day. I thought uh, maybe when I end my email right here, he's not going to he's going to he's not going to think that I am interested in the business. So only if he thinks that I'm interested in the business, he's going to send his personal details. So yeah that is the reason why i used this uh sorry if i hurt you or if i was just being too harsh about you or your company so many things happen around us each day and i'm just being careful in every perspective regards shantan again i replied with my real name dear friend it is nice to get your response back a response back i got your email through internet directive when i was searching for a person who uh, can be able to do uh, this business with me that is where i found your contact email id and the dealer is located in himachal pradesh himachal pradesh is a state in india so what is this email through an internet directory what that basically means is uh, there are certain directories and certain websites on all over the internet where you could get a random email address and that is the reason uh, that is the reason why you receive so many spam email addresses from spam emails from email addresses you don't even recognize and you are not supposed to reply back to them because it's really dangerous you the person could be installing a backdoor or a virus and maybe getting hold of your computer getting hold of your bank details and getting hold of your internet banking details and uh, doing stuff like uh, stealing all your uh, money from your account so uh, he answered the dealer will supply you the products at your home destination yeah, I, I was too worried in this email i was too worried on how to collect the product from the dealer so he says uh, the dealer will supply you the products at your home destination as i stated in the previous email i will present you as a local dealer to my company and i will guide you step by step so that you do not have to uh, you do not have to worry all i need from you is to follow instruction and listen to what i say so that everything will go successful for how long have I been uh, streaming right now? Nice. Uh, so before we proceed, I will need your proper details below. Copy of your identification and details such as your full name, your address, your contact phone number, your present job occupation, your age. I need this information for trust between us. Again, he is using the exact same wordings. Uh, once I receive this information from you, then I will present it to my company for approval of 500 packets of the Ample Union raw seed and then and after then, I will send you the contact details of the local dealer for you to confirm the availability of 500 packet of the Amphal Union raw seed. I, I await to receive your details. Sincerely, Dr. George Williams. This is the uh, this is another proof of to what extents the scammers can go in order just to scam people out of the money, even gave me his linkedin profile and his linkedin profile if you guys did i open linkedin on my microsoft edge nope not here maybe google chrome okay okay dude not here we are at the beginning and uh, so let me just open uh, this link and another really um, important thing to notice here do not click on links even if the link is from someone you know do not click on links whether that be email or whatsapp or Facebook Messenger or irrespective of uh, the messaging app you use, do not click on links. The reason why I am clicking on these links <coughs> is I have uh, uh, used certain tools to 
know if this link was really a genuine link and if this link involved some backdoor injection or uh, some virus injection into my computer so i verified it and that is the reason why i'm cl clicking the link and uh, it's even better even if you are a technical person and even if you can verify the link please do not click on the link so as the video progresses you guys will know uh, certain uh, things not to do at all such as clicking on links and replying to random emails that you don't know uh, who sent you the email so clicking on the linkedin profile this is the linkedin profile looks normal okay seven seven connections george williams medical doctor at med for vets compounding pharmacy he used the exact same details that he has mentioned in the email now he, he even used a stock photo of someone I, i'm pretty sure he is not george williams george williams is a non-existent person he this uh, this guy is someone else this guy looks like uh, i i don't know maybe he looks like trump's son who knows so this is basically a stock a stock photo of someone uh, from the usa so he just used the stock photo and uh, pretending to be george williams i even messaged him i gave him a reply saying uh, hey doctor thank you for answering my questions i have got answers to most of my questions i'm using these kind of sentences like i've got answers to most of my questions to gain trust so that he would send me his personal details but i'm still not convinced as to how you find my how you found my email address i haven't used any email address directories before and i am a little confused at the moment about how you got hold of my email address in particular from the directory and what search term you used to get the results from the directory also i want you to know when i search for amphil uni or seeds the only results popping up on a google search results are the results of people getting cheated in india i mentioned that too i mean no offense but uh, i need more information to trust you i sent you a connect request on link linkedin so the uh, the way linkedin works is uh, you need to before uh, speaking to a person uh, you need to connect with the person and uh, we are now connected he did accept the connect request and that is the that is the extent where the scammer could go just to scam you out of your money please respond to the request so that i know it's you and not some cheater sitting behind a computer trying to cheat people i mentioned that too and uh, this is the end of our conversation as of uh, as of uh, gmail is considered but when linkedin is considered he accepted my request and we are we have been talking on linkedin messaging uh, where is this archive yeah i archived this specific conversation no i archived uh, delete obviously so i need to go to my archive how to go to my archive archived yes yeah so i don't know if you guys are able to see but uh, let me try zooming in mm -hmm. let me try zooming in yeah yep so latest message no so uh, i replied after he accepted my linkedin request hey doctor i'm shantan the same person you have been contacting through email i just needed to confirm this is a real person you know these times i now believe that you are a real person I again I'm saying I now believe that you are a real person sorry for any inconvenience that I might have caused I just wrote this because I wanted to gain more and more personal information about him because I needed to expose him so to how many people did you send the email to and how many responded positively I only send this proposal to you please email me the full details which is listed in the previous email so that I can present it to my company for approval consider it done okay I await your mail again i consider i said consider it done because uh, i wanted to gain more and more trust from him i still have some doubts regarding how i was selected for this offer and how you found my email address over the internet just just give me a moment yeah so uh, do i have to send the details through linkedin or through email 
you to you to send the details through email you to send the details through email okay so you can uh, pre answer my previous question as to why i was selected for this offer i chose you for this work because i have the full belief in you believe i have the full belief in you and you can handle this work really you just went on a public email directory and uh, search for emails associated with india the country india and you emailed me and now you say that you have complete trust in me really suspicious i i i think these scammers don't have the right kind of brains for a scam because obviously he is not really using the right kind of words to scam people and he is really dumb someone has uh, created this linkedin profile and someone has created that uh, um email with the uh, pointing to the fake ip address location for him and he is just using them to scam people also i have just few final questions could we have a video chat just for the last step of confirmation i knew he was a scammer so uh, there's also an option of video chat uh, yeah this is the option of video chat so it's not often that you receive emails like these i would like to speak to you and clarify a few things before i can send you my personal details sorry for anything harsh that i might have said after the video chat i'm going to send the personal details immediately through email but do the video chat only if you're comfortable your details is secured i have already sent you the personal details if i don't trust you i would have not sent you the private linkedin really you think linkedin is private you mm, <clears throat> really dumb person i cannot make any calls due to confidentiality i don't want any of my colleagues to listen to our conversations then uh, i said okay i understand let me know of the time when you are out of work so that we could do a video chat so that your colleagues are not around if you are ready for the work send your details i cannot risk my job in the office you need to remember these scammers are uh, do not have a lot of patience and they need to realize that uh, they need to have a lot of patience to um, more successfully scam here he lost his patience clearly if you are ready for the work send your details if uh, i cannot risk my job in the office yeah i totally understand but think about the same issue in my shoes i'm sending you my personal details including my government id government issued id to someone with whom i have never met my whole life or uh, I never spoke to before today. Please let me know of a time when you would be available for video chat. Thank you. I will let you know that I will not delay sending my details once I confirm your identity. Now, after this message, after this message, no message at all. I tried calling this guy on video chat. He did not pick up. Obviously, you know what? Let me let me try try with uh, tr try this one more time. Okay, sign into Microsoft. Uh, no, Zoom. So again, sign in. No, too many sign-ins. So we're not gonna do that. But I did video chat this guy, and obviously he was not the right guy. He was not the actual George Williams. So he did not respond. Something peculiar happened after this. obviously me and george williams uh, the so called george williams did not chat af after this he did not send any emails after this uh, he did not uh, reply to my messages so he just lost his patience and was like i'm going to scam another guy this guy is just uh, asking too many questions this guy is dumb uh, so the peculiar thing that happened after this was me receiving a text message to my personal mobile number from someone doing a similar kind of scam what is this specific text message that i'm talking about here now this is a uh, an app called your phone where you could view your text messages on the desktop or on the laptop on your pc basically so this text message is indeed the same thing i realized that this text message is the same scam and the only thing that he did wrong the scammer did wrong was using his personal mobile number to send me the message and saying i am mrs jennifer selina b really you have an indian phone number and you are saying you have a jennifer you your name is jennifer selina b i have something important uh to discuss with you please contact me with this email selina bish 
Selena is indeed a bitch. Who? First of all, who? You are the one who decides uh, that this is gonna be my email address. For example, uh, my name is Shantan Hastalpuram, so I decided that Hastalpuram is my is gonna be my email address. Who decides that? Selena Bish. She is indeed a bish. Uh, just kidding to uh, if if someone uh, really with the name Jennifer Selena B exists. Uh, I'm I'm when I say Selena is a bish, I'm, I'm meaning this scammer is a bish. So yeah, that is a peculiar thing that happened. And guess what I did? What no one needs to do. What no one should never do. I replied to that email it's been uh, i think one or one and a half day since i wrote an email to let me see yeah this is the yeah hey mrs selena i got a text message to my phone number regarding something important i wanted to know if everything was all right what is the important thing that you were referring to regards shantan no reply so obviously it's the same person who is using text messages and emails for scamming people at the end of the stream at the end of all of this i really want you guys to be safe never to respond to such emails or text messages and block them that is the only thing that i expect from you guys block them now uh, i even tried calling this guy you wouldn't believe it but i uh, i even tried uh, calling this guy where is the your phone app do I need to fire it up again? Your phone. Yes. So I even tried calling this personal number. The reason that uh, I am exposing this number is scammers need to stop. The more and more people watch this video on YouTube or watch my stream on Twitch, they're gonna they're gonna annoy this person, and this person is eventually gonna quit scamming people. No. I even called this number with my personal mobile number and it ringed. No one really picked up my call. So on live stream, let me try calling him once again. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been uh, receiving a lot of emails uh, from my it's working on <laughs> okay so i'm trying to call this person again now another thing that i would like to mention here is the at the moment please try later aapke dwara dial kiya gaya number yeah, it's, it's, he switched off his phone, but uh, I don't know if you guys were able to see it. I'm going to show it once again. The caller ID clearly says that it's Santosh from Assam, India. Assam is uh, a place in India here. Yeah? So, it's obviously not Selena Bish. Selena the Bish. So... I'm just asking you guys to stay safe out there. These, uh, the reason that I decided to stream and make a YouTube video after such a long time and decided to stream and make a YouTube video of such different content from a usual content, which is gameplay, is uh, I don't want anyone that I care about be scammed in this way. And uh, another reason that I'm making this is uh, no other YouTuber has covered these specific type of scams of course uh, the only things that we need to remember is always critically think no one would give you money for free no one would uh, ask for your personal details your personal details are private information and always stay safe out there and uh, thank you so much for watching <laughs> Th thank you so much for the emojis alpha that co coffee does look amazing so i think i have uh, i think i have some time before i can quit my stream and upload this video on youtube 
you guys want to talk about something you guys maybe want to share your experiences uh, in similar certain situations regarding cheating and scamming Ah, it's been uh, really a long time for a scam video. If you search up scam videos on YouTube, this, these are basically 15 or 20 minute videos, but this video is really long and uh, it's not even interesting. I know, right? So I think that's it for today guys, I, the reason that I have uh, not been uploading much is uh, I have been really busy with work recently and I am going to be busy, I'm, I'm busy as of right now too but the, the reason that I am making this video is just to cover this specific topic and just to cover uh, that scams could happen in any way and every way possible. Someone just needs to get an idea that he needs to scam and he could think of an idea on how to scam people. And just stay safe guys. Do not reply to any emails. Do not reply to any... Do not reply. Basically do not reply to anyone who you don't know. Maybe scams happen uh, in, uh, in a completely different way. Not associated with seeds but asking you to send your personal information but... Remember, your personal information is private. Do not click on links. If you click on a link, you are basically gone. He has your entire information. He is, he can. Uh, so, more about the viruses and backdoors that I was talking about. Now, in ethical hacking, it's been really long since I've uh, uh, brushed up my ethical hacking uh, skills and ethical hacking applications. Now, in ethical hacking, there's something known as virus injection or backdoor injection. What that basically means is I will send you a link in a most trustworthy format that you will definitely click on the link. You would uh, not even, uh, you would not even uh, think about whether the link is the right link or not because it says youtube.com. You would not even know if... Uh, the uh, sender is you not even doubt if the sender is the is, is a scammer or hacker because the name of the sender is the actual name actual meaningful name uh, not his actual name obviously but some meaningful name um, making you to click on the link now that what that link basically does is it's going to open uh, youtube.com it's going to open the specific YouTube video that you're gonna watch but in the background what happens is whenever you click on that link a backdoor or a virus is injected is downloaded and installed on your computer what can a hacker do with this virus it's a it's a piece of software basically giving him the entire access think about it it's a piece of software like true uh, team viewer but team viewer needs user and password to connect to and team viewer lets you know that it is running even if you open task manager even if you open the team viewer application you know that team viewer is running and someone is actually controlling your pc but in the case of a backdoor or a virus uh, no task manager in the entire world could show you a virus or backdoor is running in the background so at the end of the video the only thing that I want to say is stay safe, do not respond. Uh, I was just responding uh, to have fun and to make this YouTube video and to uh, give you guys some information and some uh, basic knowledge on how scams happen. And I love you all so much. And uh, stay safe out there. I'm going to see you guys later. Whenever. I promise that I'm going to post another YouTube video on the same topic. Because, obviously... I am going to receive some response from Selena Bish, Selena the Bish. So, <laughs> yeah, stay awesome, stay safe. Uh, if you guys receive such kind of emails or messages from some random rum, uh, phone number or email address, just block them and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.